this is nice. If you want a PC inside your PC, then definitely you need to watch this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we're going to learn on how to install Bird Manager with Ubuntu. So let's start. To start with, let us update and upgrade our Linux Ubuntu. So let's start. From here, let us open the terminal and paste the code line. So let's start. All right, let us proceed now for the next step. Next, we need to check if virtualization is enabled. So let's start. But first, we need to clear this up and paste the code. If you see a number which is more than a zero, it means that this PC supports virtualization. Now let's proceed on the next step. Next, to check our CPU, let us install the following. From our terminal, let us paste now our code line. So let's start. And there you go. Next, let us verify now our KPN. So let's start. If you see this information, this indicates that your PC is now active with virtualization. So let's now proceed on the next step. Next, run the command below to install KPM and additional virtualization packages. So let's start. First, let's clear this up. Then paste the code line. Then press enter. All right, we're done. Let us proceed now on the next step. To understand the code line, we need to define the following. First, KEMU KBM, this is for hardware emulation, while BERT Manager to manage virtual devices, while delivered daemon system is to get configuration files. So next, let us proceed now on the next step. Next, to add a ball and start delivered, we need to type the following. But first, we need to clear this up. Then paste the first code line. And hit enter. Next, let us paste now the next code line. Then hit enter. And there you go. Finally, to verify our virtualization daemon status, we need to type the following. 
But first, we need to clear this up and paste the code language. Then hit enter. If you see this green message that's saying active, which means that virtualization daemon is actively running. To add the current user in KVM and hybrid group, we need to type the following. First, we need to add our KVM user by placing this code line that hit enter. Enter password. And there you go. Next, we're going to include now the user for Lipid group. So let's start. From here, let us paste the code line. Then press enter. And there you go. Finally, we're done now in the Brick Manager installation. Let us proceed now in the creation of your first virtual machine. So let's start. Before using with Brick Manager, please ensure you need to reboot first your system. So let's start. Alright, what's done? Let us open now our Bird Manager. From this section, just type V. If you see the icon, just click this one here. And there you go. For our demo, I already download the ISO needed for this demo. So let's use this ISO and start creating our virtual machine. To create our first virtual machine, we need to click this button in this section here. From here, we need to select the first option, then hit forward. Next, we need to browse our ISO. And to do that, we need to click this Browse button here. From here, click this Browse Local. Then from our local, locate our ISO. Then click Open. Next. Once selected, you will notice or see that there will be a selection automatically displayed in this section here. But for some reason, if the ISO or the name of the ISO won't appear in this section, you just simply uncheck this one here and select the name of that particular ISO. If you're satisfied with this selection, just click Forward. Next, in this section, we're going to modify our memory. And to do that, let us review our host memory, which is stated in this section here. Now, for my requirements, it would be best to select at least half of your memory. So from here, I'm going to select at least 4 GB, which is 4096. Next. Notice here, our CPU has a max capacity of 4. Since we already have the default as 2, we can simply say that we can leave this as is. Then, if you're satisfied with this selection, just hit forward. Next, in this section here, we're going to create a disk image for our virtual machine. As for our demo, I'm going to leave this 20 GB and hit forward. Next, in this section here, this is the final settings for our creation in virtual machine. Notice here, you can simply change the name if you want to. Also, we have two options here to consider. If you want to automatically install, you can simply click this finish button here. 
or if you want to have a farther configuration, you can simply check this button here so that it will forward to your settings. As for a demo, I'm going to click this customize configuration before install. Then click finish. Next, before we begin the installation, see to it you check the following. First, you need to check the SATA ROM. Make sure you have the correct path. Next, head over to the boot option. Make sure in this section here, you check the SATA CD-ROM. This indicates that it will locate the CD-ROM from this section here. But since uh, you already set this up, make sure you click apply or yes. And that's it. Once done, let us begin now the installation. And there you go. At this point here, we can do the normal installation. So let's begin.
that's it guys hope you like this video and please like and share and see you guys on the next video series cheers